this video is just gonna be about some setup. Uh, get this running, for you guys, and just a little bit about how it works because I think I'm gonna remake most of it. To have more modular sections, maybe a drill section, control section, and then like thrust and uh, cargo. So hopefully I get that done. But for now we got this. You can put in 15 GPS sites at a time and it can handle that. For this test, I think we'll just do three. Um, it can now automatically do basically everything. It can dock, recharge, fly back to sites, fly between sites, and it chooses to do that all on its own. Um, to set up the home, uh, I have recorded docking pads uh, based on the setup with a beacon and a connector out like that. Uh, the orientation of this does matter, so you'll probably want to test it a few times. Uh, also for docking, it will take another GPS point. Um, I want to put it pretty high in the air. I haven't been able to get uh, collision avoidance working, so yeah, you don't want it too close to the ground. Set up the home. And you only need to do this when you first make the miner or chain. You put that GPS point into the task. You want that to trigger the made at home timer. And then with your beacon, you'll go to the docking recorded pads. Just click on the beacon. Now you want to set up the GPS for your mining sites. Uh, I think we'll do three for this test. The height doesn't really matter, but you'll probably want it a bit off the ground. And horizontally, you want to be like it's precise, pretty precise. Get your GPS set up. Just go to here, go to the site basic tasks. Uh, you want to make sure they don't have any others. Add your GPS and put the site timer as an action. I have to do that for each one. When I do make an updated version, I'll try to make this easier. I don't know how much more I can do though. All right, and now to start it, you just turn on site one AI behavior and the flight AI behavior. Start flying to site one. I'm just going to reduce the ore detector sensitivity a bit. Do that by increasing this timer in ore check one or ore check or check three. You can put that GPS as high as you want because it will descend safely. I think at one meter per second. You can change that though. You know, it descends faster, probably not slower. Yeah, just change that speed threshold and slow descent. And it will mine, and once it starts mining some ore, It'll start filling up the cargo because right now it's ejecting the stone. If the cargo is full, it'll head home. Um, 
But if it stops mining ore and it thinks that there's none left, then we'll go on to another site. Let's see if you can see that here. It looks like we're getting some ore now. So you see these side timers, and these check for the ore to be gone. Those have been activated now. I didn't fill up our inventory on this one. Maybe not. <laughs> no, I'll just show it going back home. So I'll fill it up. So it slides out. Go to the GPS point first, and then it will activate the record path that's based off of that beacon. We'll see that it's a little weird docking sideways connectors, uh, so you may have to make a weird... So if you change how you set up the beacon, you may have to make a weird path. We'll cycle through this until it does dock though, so that is a bit of a safety net, but so we got our first try. Uh, it will stay here until its batteries are charged and it is empty. Um, it's in creative, so the batteries are count as charged already. Uh, I'll just empty these containers a bit more quickly because it does take a while, because I don't know how conveyors work. Now you'll see it'll fly back to our site one. Well, first, it, yeah, this is a pre recorded path just to get a bit higher to make sure it doesn't hit anything. Because again, the collision avoidance is not working. See, we're just back at the same site. Our money again. And we'll do this until uh, it's done with the ore vein. It's, it's passed all the way through it. After it gets through a vein, there's about yeah, seven seconds, okay, and then we'll start to ascend, and that's because of it's this delay we have here. You can change this to whatever you want. 15 will be a bit more forgiving. Uh, lower amounts, this going to be more sensitive the changes in the ore distribution.
We've seen this before, it just goes back to the site. This time we might get through the vein. Site 2. Just beat the process. It's full, it returns home. Once it's through the ore, it'll go to the next site. And this can be done with as many sites as you want, just the same way. Basic sites, say you want site 4, put a site there and set up the site 4 action. It goes all the way to 15. I haven't set up what happens when it tries to move on past the last site. So that'll also be something I'll try and work on for the final version. Yeah, if you get this thing running in any world, I don't have any modifications, tips. Send me a picture. I know from my Discord in the description or something. That's it. 